Invis is everything braces isn't. Eating the foods you love, life uninterrupted. Invisalign. We are back with this week's Service by Medallion feature story. Danielle Podlaski has the story of a Valley Christian softball player with a scare in her family not affecting her goals on the field. One year ago, Valley Christian senior Lauren Fulton committed to play Division I softball. Her journey to play at the next level wasn't easy, but the challenges Lauren faced shaped her into the athlete and person she is today. Valley Christian center fielder Lauren Fulton comes from one athletic family. Her dad, a talented baseball player, and her mom, a dedicated swimmer, introduced Lauren to the sport of softball when she was just five years old. For both my kids, uh, we started softball and baseball really young, so rolling the ball to them, you know, playing catch and that kind of thing, and which led into recreation. and. Um, then into travel ball at 10U and that kind of thing. As Lauren started playing competitively, softball strengthened her relationship with her dad. My dad and I actually for my entire life have just been like a pair. Um, my brother is also a competitive baseball player, so him and my mom are usually always at tournaments together. But my dad and I always go to tournaments and stuff like that. So it's definitely been a really awesome bonding agent for us over the years. But when Lauren was 13, her family learned that her dad was diagnosed with cancer. He's my best friend, and to have your best friend come to you and tell you, you know, they have this disease that has a higher death rate than survival, it was really difficult for me to handle as a kid. Um, I didn't really tell a lot of people about it either, just because of that reason. I don't know who pushed who through it, actually. I think, um, I think my family um, and, and Lauren kind of pushed me, you know, through. You know, when, when you have adversity like that, you, you know, the strength of the family moves you through those kinds of things, right? Soon after her dad's diagnosis, Lauren made the Valley Christian varsity squad as a freshman. Softball really helped Lauren get through the sadness and uncertainty of her dad's illness. When cancer was brought into the question, I have always been someone who has taken my issues out in softball. So I've always just like used softball as an outlet for me, especially with my teammates and stuff. Um, because this game really, it re-emphasizes the importance of leaving your issues like behind you and focusing on your current issues, which is just, you know, be the best teammate you can so that your team can ultimately win your game. With all her focus on softball, Lauren had a stellar sophomore season with a 290 batting average, 20 hits, and 13 RBI. Unfortunately, her season was cut short because of an injury. I had very severe shin splints, which turned into a stress fracture in my left shin, um, from the bottom of my kneecap all the way to the top of my ankle. It really limited me. I could barely walk, and every time I could, or every time I did, it just hurt. And so, it hurt me on the inside. It definitely impacted me mentally because I knew that if I wanted to achieve my dreams, I was gonna have to work extremely hard. Lauren was out for four months and missed her entire summer ball season, a big opportunity to showcase her skills to colleges. But Lauren was determined to attend college camps, even if she couldn't play. She figured out ways to continue to show up and participate as her injury would allow her to do it. Going to James Madison from California out to Virginia to a softball camp when many people that got injured that were supposed to attend didn't even show up. And she was actually able to participate in some of the drills, whether it was sitting on a can and catching, or whether it was you know, receiving balls in from the infield. Um, pretty phenomenal. Lauren's perseverance paid off. In January 2020, she committed to play Division I softball at James Madison University in Virginia. I had known I had already wanted to go to school in Virginia. I have family out there. Um, and it kind of just all the stars aligned for me. Like I really fell in love with the coaching staff. They're all so amazing. Um, the school, the campus is beautiful. They have my major and they're really good at it. More in particular, James Madison just gave me the community that I wanted. It's very faith-based, even though it isn't a private school. All of the girls are a very great um, support system for my Christian foundation. While Lauren mostly plays center field, this talented athlete can be used at other positions. I think I'm going to be more geared towards outfield just because that's my natural 
inclination. Uh, however, I did start catching in the winter of 2018, but just because of my injury and COVID and all of that, I haven't had as much game exposure as I'd like. Um, but I know if my coach needs me to be a catcher, I will work my absolute hardest to be that for them. Playing softball in college was important to Lauren, but she looked for a school that had a great journalism program. Lauren has dreamed of becoming a journalist ever since she was little, and even helped launch a magazine at Valley Christian. I've always had a knack for writing. I don't really know why, but growing up I loved reading books, I loved writing different things, and journalism just kind of came as the natural next step for me. When I was in high school I wanted to kind of challenge myself, so a few of my friends and I uh, created an artistic magazine called Blueprint, and it's called Blueprint because it lays out the foundation for who we are as a community at Valley, and just kind of highlights the different artistic talents that a lot of people wouldn't recognize our students have here. Lauren's journey to JMU was hard. She has faced many challenges, but has come out even stronger. She has, you know, taken the journey like many um, athletes have, but the difference is her passion and her dedication to the sport, regardless of what anybody ever says to her. You know, if they say, well, you know, um, it's gonna be a challenge for you to do something and that kind of thing, she has never wavered at that stuff and gone right through it. Um, if she felt like she, was not as good as some of her teammates. She worked doggedly uh, at it. Lauren Fulton only played in five games her junior year before COVID-19 canceled the season. With her dad feeling well and her injury fully healed, Lauren is hoping to have the chance to suit up for the Warriors one last season before heading off to James Madison in the fall. Lauren is excited to start her college softball career and journalism classes at James Madison. And who knows, maybe one day we'll see Lauren as a reporter on this very show. Robbie and Aubrey, back to you. It is great that she wants to go into journalism. Yeah, everybody wants our job. They really do. Our job is the best, that's why. It is a very good, <laughs> it is a very good job.